Well, hey friends, it's Dawn here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited that you chose to watch one of my tutorials today. And that's what today's video is. It is a quick and easy tutorial. So I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times when I wake up in the morning before work, I don't have a lot of time to do a full face of makeup. So I know you guys have heard me talk about this before. I love my sleep. I might hit the snooze a couple of times. Um, and so I'm usually just running around, rushing in the morning, and I gotta get out the door. But I wanna make sure that when I go to work, I do look polished and put together. So I do have a very quick and easy makeup routine that I have been doing for the last couple of months, and I thought it would be great for me to just show you what I do, and maybe that can help you with your beauty routine. Um, you might be able to tweak something, or you know, it might just give you some inspiration to do a little bit um, before you head out the door to work. So again, I love a full glam look, but I don't always have time every morning, and it's not always appropriate. You know, I just need to look a little bit polished and put together. So I'm gonna show you with just a few quick products how I can do this look. And this is just my everyday uh, go to work look. And uh, again, it's only gonna take me a few minutes. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Mary Kay under eye corrector. So I'll be putting that on underneath of my eyes. And I just like to use a little bit just right in the corners here. So I'm gonna let that sit on my skin for just a few moments to warm up and then I'm going to blend it in and I'm going to use just a little mini blending sponge. So this was one of the limited edition uh, mini blending sponge sets that we had. Uh, this was one of the little blending sponges, but any kind of blending sponge or brush or even your fingers would work. So let me just get this blended in. So um, like I said in one of my previous videos where I talked about the difference with under eye corrector and concealer, the under eye corrector is a color corrector. So a lot of us tend to have kind of that, you know, dark blue or purpley um, color underneath of our eyes where we get those dark circles or even just a shadow right here. And so that will help to color correct that bluish purplish tone that we get underneath of our eyes. So color corrector goes on underneath of our foundation. So that's why I did this step first. Next up, I'm going to apply the Mary Kay CC Cream. So I use the CC Cream in shade very light during the winter months. Um, I do uh, go up to the light to medium in the, um, in the summer, but in the winter, uh, I need that very light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over my face as you can see what I'm doing here. And um, again, I love this container. It just you know squirts out. So I did a pump, but just a little tiny bit more. And like the um, under eye corrector, you can use a blending sponge, you can use your fingers, or you can use your favorite uh, brush tool. And I love my Mary Kay foundation brush. This is the liquid foundation brush. So this is the one I'm going to use. And let me just blend this in real quick. Now that I have my under eye corrector and my CC cream on and blended, I'm going to do a little bit of spot correction with my concealer. Now the reason that I do the spot concealing afterwards is because a lot of times your CC cream will actually cover really well and you won't need to even do any spot correction. But if you do need, I have like a little blemish right here. So if you do need a little bit of spot correction, you would just do that afterwards. And I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath of my eyes as well. So the um, 
color corrector is great for again color correcting but it doesn't have it's not a concealer so if you need a little bit more coverage come in with your concealer and that blending sponge so I'm just gonna blend this in all right now that I have my base on I am going to come in next with my contour powder this is my uh, cheek color brush and I just dip that in the contour powder and I like to contour right underneath of my jawline so again if you watched my video from last week you saw me do this with my contour stick but this is what I do every day to hide that double chin and give myself a little bit more uh, definition around my jawline after I contour under my jaw, I'm going to actually use that contour powder and do some contouring on my eye. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I have a slightly hooded eye, so I just wanna create a little bit of definition. Um, but again, I'm just really quick and easy, just trying to use a couple products. So I'm gonna use this contour powder in Latte. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on a fluffy brush here. This is one of our brush sets that we had recently for our holiday collection and I'm just going to go right here above the crease just to create a little bit of definition. And let me do the other side. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit right underneath of the eye as well. I didn't add any more color, just what was on the brush. So just right there, again, above that crease, and then just underneath of the eye. So this is super quick and easy. Now I'm going to take my highlight, which is the glaze, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that right on the lid of my eye, and just pat that on to the lid. And then I'm gonna use just a tiny touch right on the inside corner as well. All right, next I am going to do a quick brow and the way I'm going to do my quick brow is with the volumizing brow tint. So when I do my brows with my pencil, I love it better, but it takes me a really long time. So the volumizing brow tint is super quick and easy. Let me go ahead and get started with that just going to go up where the hairs go up on my brow and then as it gets right here to the arch and the hairs start to kind of lay down a little bit more i'm gonna go in that direction so with a brow tint i'm really just trying to catch the brow hairs that are already there as opposed to adding a lot of color to the skin so really i'm almost not touching my skin i'm just really touching the brow hairs so just going in the direction the brow hairs naturally go in and so it's a very very light brow again it is very natural um, this is not the look that I normally go for, but if I'm in a hurry, I only have a few minutes. You can see it still makes a huge difference with my brows. All right, let me do the other brow real quick. Next up, I'm going to apply my Mary Kay eyeliner in black, and I'm just gonna apply a thin line just on the top lashes. And I'm going to use the eye detail brush from our holiday catalog and just um, smudge this a little bit.
All right, and the reason that I really like to use the eyeliner on the days where I'm going super fast and just doing this quick look is because when I apply my mascara, if I'm in a hurry, I tend to make a lot of mistakes and get my mascara along the lash line um, on my lid itself. So if I do a quick line of eyeliner, it tends to um, kind of correct that mistake. So I am going to apply a, a couple coats of mascara and I will be right back. All right, and to save time, I just did my upper lashes. Next up, I need to add a little bit of color or warmth to my face. So I'm gonna take a Mary Kay bronzing powder. This was a limited edition item just over the summer, but I still have it and I love using it, uh, again, the days that I'm just really in a hurry and I'm trying to do a quick look um, because I do need a little bit of warmth on my face. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush. Um, our big powder brush would be great for this, but I just have an old powder brush from Mary Kay. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the uh, bronzing powder and I'm just going to bronze just across my forehead and on my cheeks a little bit down my nose and then I'm going to I know I've already contoured under here but I'm going to pull some color onto my neck of course this would depend on what you're wearing if you're wearing like a turtleneck or something you wouldn't but a lot of times um, you know I have sort of a v-neck or like a scoop neck like this so just add a little bit of color here to just kind of tie that all in and this just adds a little bit of warmth to my face if you want you can also throw on a quick cheek color but to finish off my look I need to do my lips because uh, definitely something is missing and for me when I'm in a hurry with my lips the best thing is a lip gloss so when I am doing lipstick or something like the matte liquid lip colors I definitely need to take a little bit more time be a little bit more precise um, and usually that involves a lip liner so if I'm in a hurry in the morning again the quick easy thing for me is to grab a gloss so this is our Mary Kay Unlimited lip gloss in pink fusion because I don't have a lot of color going on in my face so I just want to add a little pop of color to my lips just like that so that is a super fast easy way to get out the door in the morning the last step is I do spray with my Mary Kay finishing spray so I just do a little quick spray of this um, to make sure that my makeup is set to last throughout my workday and that's it and I am ready for the office so um, Again, if you are like me, I wake up in the morning and I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup, but I wanna go into the office looking polished and professional and put together. So this for me has been a great way to do that with just a very short amount of time in the morning. And I love it because I've got it down pat. It only takes me a few minutes in the morning and um, you know I can get to work on time, but I can make sure I look like I put a little bit of effort into my makeup look so I hope this video was helpful to you let me know below like what your daytime routine is do you wear makeup to work or oh hey Penny <laughs> do you wear makeup to work or do you just like not bother with it uh, let me know what your uh, routine is for just like your normal work day and um, I will see you guys in my next video thanks a lot bye now Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the red bell notification. As always, I'll link the products used in today's video down below in the description box. And make sure to come on over to my social media channels and say hi.